Hi, I'm Marcy of Una Baluna. I am an actress and a singer and a blogger and a what have you. Welcome to my Technicolor universe. Here, we're gonna take off the rack and out of the envelope and make it into everyday awesome. Today, I'm going to be working on a going outfit because I got a date with some girlfriends and to be honest, I'm not really sure what they wear as a species. So I'm gonna figure it out. Oh yeah, this is sexy. So I got this on sale uh, because I really like the print, I really like the fabric, I really like the color. Obviously, it needs a little bit of work. It's got this placket here that's not really a placket. The hem <laughs> drops down at the side and then comes back up in the center. It's like a reverse high-low hem in Psycho World. And it's got a lot of Little House in the Prairie going on. So first thing I'm gonna do is shorten it. And I'm going to eyeball where that should be I think this flower right here is where the hem should fall. Red flower, remember that. Got it. I got sister wife on the dress form and now I'm gonna mark the hem using that little red flower and my super technological hem marker that puffs the chalk for the hem. See that little mark? This thing is so cool. Normally I would sit here and cut all the way around it or pin all the way around it. So I'm just gonna keep marking around this hem and when I'm done, it's gonna be time to make Holly Hobby into Holly Hattie. I hope Okay, so first we wanna figure out these sleeves because they're a little, they're a little dowdy at the moment, and I think we can fix that weapon, weapon. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Oh, say hello to the people. These are the people. Morning. Have you had coffee yet? Not enough. Okay, go have coffee. Mm. I love you. Bye. That's my husband. He's awesome. He makes great coffee. Okay, sleeves. So first I'm gonna press out any little wrinkles on the sleeve and I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do yet, but I know I wanna lop off some of this length. So I'm just gonna make a mark right above this little, this little fancy placket here they've got. Mark it straight across. I'm just gonna cut off that which offends me. Get a little biblical on it. Now we're gonna figure out what to do with the rest of the sleeve. I think I'm gonna put a baby hem in at the sleeve hem and maybe add like a button or some trim up here and a tab where you're gonna be able to zhuzh the sleeve. Zhuzh, it's a word. Now I'm going to baby hem the sleeve. I'm gonna stitch a line 3 eighths away from that cut edge all the way around. All right, now we're gonna press under using that little stitching line as our guide. Pressed, now we're gonna go back and sew that down again. Baby hems are a little tedious, but they actually come out really pretty, so it's worth it. So what you're gonna do now, I stitch an eighth of an inch away from the fold. I'm gonna trim very close to the line of stitching. I'm gonna fold and press again, and I'm gonna stitch one last time. One final press, and the baby hem is done. It should be called a baby this takes forever hem, and you have to do it again for the actual hem of the dress but it comes out so pretty, it's worth it. Hi, sometimes I need a change of scenery. So I made this little sleeve tab out of some excess fabric. It's just a rectangle of fabric sewn together. And I thought maybe I'd use this contrasting button to judge the sleeves. Maybe I'd put them down the placket. Maybe I would use this crazy rose trim, or maybe that's just crazy. I need to go talk to my own personal Tim Gunn. Okay, I have two options for the sleeves. Mm -hmm. I can do this little button mm -hmm. and that little tie so it like sits up nice and pretty. Okay. You like that? Yeah, that's nice. Okay, well, oh, option B, <laughs> like it could go down the button placket. I could have like little buttons all the way down so that it connects. No? <laughs> no, it's lovely, babe. It's great. How lovely is it? Oh, it's super. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just align the whole thing with it? All right, thank you. Rob is right. I'll use the button. Oh. <sighs> All right. 
I'm gonna mark where I want the button to fall. I think right about there. It's gonna be pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I've got my sleeve tab back again. I put a buttonhole on one end and I've overlocked the other end. I've got my dress turned inside out and basically I'm gonna find that shoulder point right there. I'm going to pin the sleeve tab right on the seam to that shoulder point. And then I'm gonna sew it down right on the seam on the machine. All right, now I'm gonna hand sew the button on. No, no, okay, this isn't what I was going for. The sleeves are great, but this is very awful. Um, oh, oh, I got an idea, wait, just wait, wait. I turned it around. I turned it around backwards. It works sometimes. The front is now the back, and the placket is now cute instead of like, why is that placket there with no buttons? The back is now the front. I'm gonna add some rouleau straps to the front, and it's gonna be like boho chic tied up, and I'm gonna be like, all the girls wanna dress like me at girls' night out. Yes! <laughs> this is going to work. I've got all this excess fabric from the hem of that gigantic dress. And what I'm gonna do is lay it out flat, find a grain line by snipping and ripping, then I'm gonna use my bias ruler to mark some bias strips, cut those out, then I'm gonna sew them right sides together, then I'm going to turn those out with a safety pin, Add some wooden bobs for a little bit extra. Then I'm gonna attach them to the neckline of the dress. And finished. Yeah. Oh, hey bro, just good, in time man. for happy hour. Yeah, good, mm. good, good. Bye bye. Yes, okay, that was a marathon, but I, I I think we crossed the finish line. I love the back so much. That placket actually makes sense back there to me. I love the front, I love the little rouleau straps. I love the color. I can eat all of the things. Hey babe, I'm going! What?